Elizabeth Hurley, also known as Liz Hurley, is a British model and actress. She has always been in the limelight, for both right and wrong reasons. One of the most desirable women in the world, Hurley is also one of the most photographed women. She had a colorful early life as she dabbled in ballet and punk fashion. She was also involved with the New Age Travelers, a hippie group in Britain. She gained worldwide recognition when she walked down the red carpet with her then-partner Hugh Grant at the premiere of his film. Although Grant was more popular, Liz stole his thunder and grabbed all the attention with her bold Versace address, which was held together by giant gold safety pins. Hurley capitalized on her sudden fame and went on to establish a very successful modeling career. Though she has achieved only moderate success as a film actor, her modeling career as well as her well-publicized personal life has kept her in the limelight. In her turbulent personal life, Liz has had to put up with cheating partners, breakups, outspoken in-laws, and paternity suits. In spite of her difficult personal life, Liz has managed to emerge unscathed and continues to enjoy fame and attention. Elizabeth Jane Hurley was born on June 10, 1965 in Basingstoke, Hampshire, England. She was the middle child of teacher Angela Mary and Army Major Roy Leonard. As a young girl, she took ballet lessons in hopes of going professional but got distracted in her teen years with the punk rock music scene. She was later expelled for having poor grades and for a time, immersed herself in hippie culture. Hurley's film debut was in the anthology Aria, 1987. Shortly after, she appeared in the Wesley Snipes-led action drama Passenger 57, 1992, but made her biggest splash as Desert Eagle-toting sultry spy Vanessa Kensington in Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery, 1997. Two years later, she appeared in EDTV, 1999, as well as in the dark comedy Bedazzled, 2000, in which she played the devil, opposite Brendan Fraser. On the small screen, Hurley's more memorable roles came much later in her career. In 2011 she joined the cast of Gossip Girl during its fifth season as media mogul Diana Payne, and starting in 2015, took on the role of Queen Helena in Ease the Royals, a fictional story about a modern royal family in London. Hurley has worked on numerous advertising and fashion campaigns for brands like Jordache, Got Milk, Monsoon and Lancel and has graced the cover of Vogue, British Edition, three times. However, her most prominent campaign started in the mid-1990s as the face of Estee Lauder, which she signed up for at the age of 29. Hurley attributes her youthful looks to the over two decades she's been working with the beauty company. I've had an arsenal of free beauty products in my hands to use from any of the Estee Lauder companies," she said during an interview in 2017. I have no excuse on skincare and makeup, so I've taken advantage of that. I do recommend to women to moisturize and look after your skin, it's incredibly important. Hurley dated Hugh Grant for 13 years, even standing by him amid his prostitution scandal in 1995. The couple amicably parted ways in 2000. She briefly dated businessman Steve Bing in 2001, which produced her only child, Damien Charles Hurley. In 2002 she began a relationship with textile businessman Arun Nayer and married him in 2007, in an English castle. However, the couple soon separated a few years later and divorced in 2011. 
That same year she was briefly engaged to former Australian cricketer Shane Warne, but by 2013 the couple decided to end their relationship. As a close friend of David and Victoria Beckham, Hurley is godmother to their sons, Brooklyn and Romeo. Hurley has one child, a son named Damien Charles, B, 2002, whose father is American businessman Steve Bing. Bing had originally denied Damien was his son, but a paternity test proved in fact that he was. Damien's godfather is Hugh Grant. Elizabeth Hurley was sure bedazzled by former co-star Brendan Fraser. Fraser, 53, and Hurley, 57, starred together in the 2000 romantic comedy, Bedazzled, and the British actress divulged to people that she still feels a magical bond with the actor. I would love to work with Brendan again. He was one of my favorite co-stars, the model said about her relationship with Fraser, with whom she recently reconnected at a screening of his acclaimed new film, The Whale. Brendan and I got on so fantastically when we shot Bedazzled and then didn't speak, she went added. We didn't speak at all until I got invited to this screening of The Whale. And I was so excited that I'd see Brendan again. One, New Zealand. Having moved up five places from our 2021 rankings, New Zealand tops the standings this year for all the reasons you'd expect. This island nation of stunning landscapes and political stability boasts an excellent quality of life, high scores on racial, gender, and LGBT equality, and a progressive government that provides for its citizens. We've ranked at the sixth most liberal country in the world, and the ninth best for women, so it's no surprise that 90% of expats in New Zealand would recommend their new home for its quality of life. Expats in New Zealand also have a more positive outlook on the future than expats in any other country. According to HSBC's 2021 Expat Explorer survey, and why not, with all of these advantages. More than 286,000 UK expats currently live in New Zealand, according to the United Nations, and it's clear to see why.